All right, today we're chatting with Vlad about the metaverse, right Vlad? Yes. Okay, so we've been seeing a lot of headlines about the metaverse. I've read some articles, but can you break it down for me? Like what exactly is the metaverse? The metaverse is something that if Facebook, now Meta, uh, <laughs> Microsoft and Epic Games stop talking about, the rest of us would probably shut up about as well because it's kind of a label on a bunch of things that already exist and also on a vision this is where i can give you a more concrete definition mm -hmm. to what it is uh, for where things are going um, and the way that i best understand it is as a replacement for the web browser so when i hear metaverse i think like another world where i am now an avatar i can create my own character so it's, it's not just that right is what you're saying it can be that, again, that's the way that it's been pitched to us yeah. from uh, Meta CEO and founder Mark Zuckerberg. There was, a, there was a cute video online, actually, where they took the whole announcement of the Meta rebranding yeah. and him presenting the whole vision. And then they just cut the number of times that he said experiences. Mm. Let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like. A lot of amazing new experiences. New experiences that you're... The experiences you experience. Not and it was experiences, experiences, experiences. A lot experiences. of experiences. Experiences and hand gestures. Uh -huh. Experiences, experiences. <laughs> so, so that's kind of the point. Meta and the metaverse is supposed to be the baseline in which things build. But let me, let me get to like more concrete examples of things that exist already. Okay. Um, Epic Games Fortnite mm -hmm. is a really good example of how this can develop more organically, right? Because nobody who plays Fortnite is thinking, I'm building the metaverse here. Like, we're setting the template for how it grows. Yeah. But they are, actually, because, first of all, the whole idea of like, having an avatar living in a virtual environment comes straight out of gaming. Mm. Um, and Fortnite is the best example of it because people spend so much time and money uh, time in the game and then money on cosmetics. Yeah. Uh, Niantic, uh, which is a company behind mm -hmm. Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go is metaverse in the real world, so to right. speak, right? And that company just announced this week that they're investing in helping developers create more metaverse in the real world apps. I feel like with a bit more patience, a little less overstatement, mm -hmm. some of these things are going to come together. Maybe what's going to happen is we're going to get, have more of an entertainment agglomeration such as League of Legends, mm -hmm. Arcane, Netflix, Twitch, right? Where streaming games in terms of like streaming a game from the cloud that I can play mm -hmm. and then streaming somebody else that I can watch playing it and then being able to stream an anime tied to the game. You know, these more interconnects between various entertainment genres, I can see those again building into something mm -hmm. it just doesn't make sense to put a label on it so early yeah okay so we shouldn't be afraid of it of course not we could be a little bit excited about it yeah but cynical yes okay.